What I want to do today is connect our ClickUp and Google Sheets apps so that whenever a new database item is created in ClickUp, a new row will automatically be created in our selected Google spreadsheet. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial, so you could try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want ClickUp items to trigger my Google Sheets app, I'll need to use ClickUp as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime ClickUp sees a new task is created, it's going to run this workflow. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Task as my event and click Continue. The first time we set up ClickUp, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your ClickUp account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. Next, we'll need to set up our trigger apps data. Click the workspace you want to use for your Zap. I'm going to click John Smith's workspace and then click Continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our first action. I want my dates to be listed in a specific format, so I'll need to format my dates for this step. To do this, I'll click the Format button on the built-in tool section. For my events, I'll click Date slash Time and click Continue. Next, under Transform, I'll click Format. Once I do that, under the Input screen, I should click Task Due Date. Under To Format, I'll click the format I want to use for my date, and then I'll change my time zone to a time zone I want my group to use, and then I'll click Continue. Click Test and Review, and our Excel spreadsheets will be formatted properly when Zapier uploads our ClickUp items into Google Sheets. Let's move on. Type in Google Sheets into the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. Next, click Create Spreadsheet Row and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate Google Sheets with Zapier, just like I did with my ClickUp account. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue and it's time to assign our trigger apps data into the Action Apps field. First, pick the drive where your spreadsheet is located. I'll click My Drive. Next, for the spreadsheet, click the spreadsheet you want your data to appear on. I'm going to click Click Up Zapier. Once I click my spreadsheet, the data from my Google spreadsheet will appear. My Google spreadsheet rows are filled out as tasks, assignees, due dates, and description of tasks. I'll need to fill these out accordingly. Under tasks, I'll click task name. Under assignee, I'll click task assignee username. Under due date, I'll click the output for my date time formatter button, and then under description of task, I'll click task text content and click continue. Click test action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime a new task is created in ClickUp, a new spreadsheet row will automatically be created in our Google Sheets app. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.